Amen. Hello out there. Y'all there with me? You know, sometimes your preacher can preach better if I can hear better. Can y'all can y'all hear me this morning? Yes, Pastor. Yes. How many folks are thankful for Amen. God just being God this morning? Amen. Yes. Amen. God has been good to us. I know yes. with all the trouble that we face, all the problems we encounter, sometimes we may feel like as the songwriter said, a motherless child. Sometimes we may feel like we're sitting on the dock of the proverbial bay. Uh, life is funny sometimes. Sometimes we feel like, God, why? You, you, you made me like this. You put me in all this trouble. You allowed all this to happen to me. But then when we step back and take a look at our lives and say, wait a minute, hold on. And I'm looking around and I'm seeing other folk encountering things and God, you were good to me. Amen. Better than me than I've been to myself. You been a very present help in mm -hmm. my life, irregardless of all the things I have done. Thank you. Lord. Well, I don't know about y'all this morning, but I ain't perfect. I, I ain't living no perfect life. I need Jesus. So try to add, making you no, doubt that you don't need yes, Jesus. Some try to make you feel like, but I don't. You don't need Jesus. I'm okay. here to tell you, I know I need him. I need mm -hmm. him every hour of every day. I'm yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. It's days like this. I wish I was able to be at my my station. I was able to be at. Uh, the pilot's booth, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I can stand there, y'all. Hmm. That's why I got a picture up this morning. I feel good this morning. Mm -hmm. I, thank I thank him. He's been good to me. I've been traveling right. over the last few weeks. Church, I've probably been in over five cities, six cities, in the last three, four weeks. Mm -hmm. I thank God. When I look at so many folk meeting accidents. I've seen accidents and I've seen folks in peril. I've seen folks sick. Mm -hmm. yeah, and God has so. kept me. Uh, you, you may not want to thank him this morning, but I don't care. I'm going to go ahead and tell him thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord. He's been good to me. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Everything. He has been good to me. I, I, I got to shout by myself. I'll do it by myself this morning. Thank this you, morning. Jesus. I'll go if I have to go. Mm -hmm. By myself. Thank you. I hope those things wasn't just for speaking in tongues. Mm. I ain't going. I'm leaving. I'm, let me stop. Let me. Uh, let me stop. The Holy Ghost was did so much more than that. Comforter. Mm -hmm. This morning, if you have your Bible, your 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 electronic device, or whatever it is that you choose to have to. Um, to review the scripture this morning. Journey with us to the gospel according to St. Matthew. We are we are still here in Lentinal season. And so I I want to do something to to help those who are all, you know, turning down or turning away or letting themselves um let themselves, or I would say it this way, let's, 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 let's turn it around. Giving something of, of giving something away this season. And if you're in that camp, I, I want to encourage you. Uh, you know, we're rounding the corner now. We're, we're getting into the, we're getting into the, the long stretch and I'm, I'm praying for you. I know it's tough. The gospel according to St. Matthew. And again, it's good to see all of you. I look out to see Brother Cobb. Good to see you fighting a good fight. Always happy to see the name pop up. Brother Jason, we got to get together. Mm -hmm. Together, gentlemen. Chapter 4, Matthew's Gospel, starting at verse 1. And for those reading intently, I'll use the King James rendering this morning. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit 
unto the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterwards and hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. God's word for God's people. Amen. Pray to God, take us all out of self. Allow all of us to decrease as you increase in us. Allow, Lord, this old vessel with all of its cracks and all of its uh, 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 frailty, Lord, to be utilized this morning, Lord, to uh, be an instrument, Lord, in your army, to, Lord, be able to bring healing, to be able to bring strength, to bring peace, and, Lord, salvation to someone. Lord, use me in your will and in your purpose. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I want to use the subject this morning. I won't belabor you too long. Satan goes to prayer meet. Mm -hmm. Satan goes to prayer meeting. Y'all realize this morning that Satan Satan goes everywhere too? Y'all know that? Mm -hmm. Y'all mm -hmm. recognize that Satan finds himself oftentimes in places that we don't recognize mm -hmm. that he is. We think in the uh the altitudes of our accession to great heights and success in our careers and in our lives that Satan is not there. Satan comes around everywhere. He does not. Uh, say, oh, well, you know, I see them doing well now. They've gone and done well. They've gotten degrees and they've, uh, you know, raised their children. They've done all the great things and I'm going to leave them alone. I'm going to back up off of them now. You know, they, they've done, they've done good. They've done well. Satan doesn't do that. Satan, he likes to wait until what the Bible says as the opportune time. Y'all don't hear me this morning. Uh -huh. I'll preach if y'all will get with me. Uh -uh -uh. Satan tries to wait until the opportune time to try to trip us up. Uh -huh. Satan's sitting there waiting. Mother Lewis, he's sitting there. I can see him with his arms crossed watching me. Y'all know how we do with his arms folded and his head just waving. I'm I, I, I see him. I see him thinking he's doing what he I see him. I, I I've watched him. I, I've I've seen the valleys he's gone through, and now he thinks he's on a mountaintop. I'm 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 waiting mm -hmm. for the opportune time to step in and 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 and, and find my way to disrupt. Mm -hmm. What God has purpose, and y'all know God has purpose for each one of us. Yes, he does. God has put purpose in each and every one of our lives. He's placed things in you that don't nobody else know. And can't nobody else stop if you keep your hands in his hands. But Satan, after I believe seeing Jesus, and y'all know if you read the story that a couple of days ago, Jesus had been baptized, so Satan had been watching. Satan sees that he'd been fasting 40 days, 40 nights. He'd been watching. And I think as in my Holy Ghost mind, he 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 contemplates that opportune time, ready to read. He he steps up and he says, All right, mm -hmm. I've seen it. I was at the baptism. I I seen all those who gathered. I've watched 
you ascend and I've seen God uh, recognize and acknowledge you as uh, the one whom he's proud of and the one who 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 he honors. I've seen that. Y'all don't hear me this morning. But I also saw you that you, you've been fasting. Looks like you may be in a situation now where you're weak. And for those of you who are on the line, you know Satan knows we, each one of us is weak. Mm -hmm. Satan knows your weak spots, Brother Travis. He knows mm -hmm. where it is, in fact, that uh, you have uh, uh, a spot where you're vulnerable. He knows where you hurt. He knows mm -hmm. where if he applies a little pressure. You may, oh, ouch, oh, wait a minute, I don't want to hurt here. You know, you, 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 you can get at me in this part of my life, but in this particular area, please, don't, 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 don't do that here. See, for some of us, we think that Satan is uh, quarantined to only certain areas of our life. We like to imagine that. I'm strong everywhere, but in this particular area, nobody knows. Satan don't know about this. He don't know about this 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 piece that I struggle with. And he won't bother me there. But Satan comes on the scene here as Jesus had just gotten done fasting. And one of the 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 versions of this it says that Jesus was led there by the Spirit. I'm hoping y'all know when to shout. That was a shout moment. That was one of the moments you could have said, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. He was led there by the Spirit. Do some of y'all realize that? Some of the peril you face, it wasn't Satan that tried to get, it was God who said, you know what, come here. Uh -huh. You've shown me that I, I can trust you. I need you on a special assignment. Jesus. You've shown me that you can be trustworthy in even the worst circumstances. Let me use you because, see, sometimes we feel like uh, God is doing this to me. He's a Picking on me. But I heard a great pastor say once ago, uh, he said, sometimes we are picked out to be picked on. Mm -hmm. That God can pick us up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God positions us so Satan can try his best to show God what God... I, if I get, if I, if, if, you know, you, I know you blessed them. I know you, I know you call them, you know, they, they, they got you on, but they, they, they're not really believers. They see a little trouble, they're going to fold. They see a few problems, they're going to turn. But in this text, what we find is Satan comes on Jesus and he feels like, well, I got him at his weak point. I got him not realizing that the spirit led him there. He didn't come out there on his own. Some of us do now. Some of us go running off into the street, into the wildlife on our own. Help me, help me hold it on. Mm -hmm. Some of us, you know, want to think we big and bad as we are. We went and ran right in the middle of the highway. Mm -hmm. After God had tried his best to help us, we, God, I think I know best. I, I want to be out there with the big boys, with the big girls. I'm, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. My this is my time, you know. I, I you know, I, I know y'all in there doing that church thing, but I, I want to go out here and do my thing. Some of us, but here we find, irregardless of how we found ourselves in trouble, Satan was watching, and Satan comes on the scene. Mm -hmm. And he 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 uses uh, his 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 mechanism 
of doubt to start off his argument. He says, well, uh, wait a minute. If you are the son of God, I know you've been out here fasting. I know you've been out here trying to 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 get yourself positioned uh, to be at a closer uh, uh, proximity to God. You've been letting yourself uh, do without mm -hmm. to make room for God. He said, but I know you're hungry. I want you to command these stones to become bread. For those of you who are unfamiliar with his tactics, uh, bread in this case is symbolic of materialistic thing. He knows where we are. Satan there, he he he's saying, well, you know, you 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 need now. Can you supply the material things? Can can you? Can you do the things in what he was really saying? What kind of Messiah are you? See, Satan has a way. Satan understood. Satan knew the word. What kind of Messiah? Are you, are you going to be that kind of guy who thinks you can do it all? You can give them all? I want y'all to know God is going to give you everything. And it ain't that he can't do it. But he said, I'm not going to put more on you than... You can bear. But he asked the question. I know you're hurting. I know you're hungry. Make these stones bread. Mm -hmm. Jesus responds with his swagger. Wait a minute. Hold on now. Satan, you, you, you better understand something here. Uh, you think you know what the words say. You think you understand who my father is. But let me tell you something that you don't know. That man does not live by bread alone. Man does not sustain himself by bread alone. See, for some of you who thought that it was the material things that kept you and that uh, kept uh, you sustaining your purpose and kept you together, you thought that it was your money. You thought it was your position. You thought it was the stuff you had. But I'm here to tell you this morning, had it not been for the Lord Amen. on my side, where would I be? It wasn't the stuff. And I've had some good bread. I've ate some good bread, but it was not the bread. If you wait a couple of hours, that bread would be gone. You digest that quick. It was his redeeming power. When I made mistakes, when I stuck my toe, when I made the wrong decision, it was him who kept me. There's no bread good enough, sustaining enough to keep me. Man does not live by bread alone. You got me twisted. You think I'm running off of bread? I'm running off of Holy Ghost power. Uh -huh. I get down and out when I don't know what to do, when everybody turns their back on me and I have nothing left. Oh, when I had nothing left, when I was running on fumes, when I felt like giving up, when my family wouldn't even, hmm, thank the Lord, help me. <laughs> now, y'all don't understand. This, 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 this thing got deeper than just what was on the surface. Satan ain't playing. He was trying to trip Jesus out, but Jesus knew his word. Study to show thyself approved. Y'all don't hear me. You better know your word, because Satan going to try you. But then he comes back, and Satan does what Satan does. He takes him up a little higher. I want y'all to notice this. Every time Satan asks a question, he takes Jesus up to another level. That's, I don't know who this is for this morning. But see, you, some of y'all have been elevating. And as you've been elevating, you got to understand, it ain't just because God is elevating you. Sometimes Satan is trying. Well, if I, if I, if I give him something, if I give him 
a little something to make them feel edified. If, if I can make them feel like it was me who did it. If I can get their name called. If I can get them in a position where people are glorifying them. Maybe I can trip them up. Got to be careful sometimes, church. Got to be careful. Sometimes, see, it ain't, see, God is going to allow things to happen because he wants, because he trusts you to see how you're going to respond. He allows Satan to do, and Satan takes Jesus up another level. And when he does, now he asks his question. After he's tried to elevate him, okay, so now you can see a little bit more now. Now things look a little different here. Now I've I've taken you from the street to the boardroom. Y'all don't hear me. I've taken you up. Now I got a question. After taking you to the pinnacle of the temple, now I want to know uh, if you be the son of God, why don't you cast yourself down? That is a great crowd of witnesses around here, all these folk looking. You want to be a king. You want folk to glorify you. Why don't you, in the midst of the people, show me show me that you're the son of God. Show me that the angels are concerned about you. Show, show me. God said in his word that they wouldn't allow even your toe to be Han, why don't you show me? Church, I'm going to tell y'all something right now. Uh, and I love how Jesus responds. You better understand something. You better know who your God is. I don't care where you go. I don't care how high you climb. I don't care what position they call you. You better know who your God is. And you got to know who your God is so you can place Satan in his rightful place. Because if I had more young people on the line right now, more young people in the church, uh, the sermon would have been called Know Your Role. Satan, I know you think you big and bad, but know your role. <laughs> Don't think that you got any kind of power over me. Your role ain't for me to serve you, your role is to serve me. Your role, don't, don't, don't think that you've got no power over me because we own the temple and you thought you brought me up. Know your role. See, some folks got to talk to Satan like he who he is. Know who you are because I know who God is. You, you didn't make the stars and the moon. You didn't, you didn't give the breath of life in. You, you didn't do all of, you didn't do that for me. When I was down and out, when I was hungry, when I was thirsty, when everybody gave up on me, it wasn't you that sustained me. Don't you have me trying to tempt my God. Know your role. I believe he was telling them, well, know who God is. The scripture said, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. That's, that's who God is. I'm not going to tempt God. You can't make me, you can't confuse who God is. I'm not fool enough to try to get folk to love me by trying to violate God. Y'all don't hear me this morning. Sometime you're going to be tempted. Sometime on your ascension to great heights and sometime on your road to success, folk are going to try to make you get confused and use you to try to make God look like a puppet. God ain't no puppet. God ain't no baby. He ain't no child to be played with. Uh, well, you, you read those three Hebrew boys who told Pharaoh, be very clear. Even though we know who he is, we have no control. Even though we've done what we are supposed to do, we have no control. Be very clear. Mm -hmm. If he chooses not to save us, we will not serve you. We don't have no control over God. God is not a child or he's not a clown to be mocked. He's not someone we can play with. He's not 
to be played with. Know your role. Don't come at me like that. You got to know how to talk to Satan. You got to know how to deal with these demons. I heard somebody say, bitch, be still. When you are in your, uh, in, your, in your work environment, I had to do it one time. Somebody tried me. Brought me some mess. Right there in the middle of the office, I stood up and said, bitch, be still. They thought I was crazy. This man must be fooled. I said, no, you think I was playing about being a creep? You thought I was playing about being a pastor? I, I, I might be working here, but look at here. If I didn't have a job, before I had this job, <laughs> hmm, he was the one brought me here. It wasn't me. I have no power. I had nothing. It was, my grandmother told me a long time, I don't care about what book learning you get. I don't care what degree you got. There's always somebody smarter. There's mm -hmm. always somebody who works harder. But favor ain't fair. Y'all don't, I'm gonna let that marinate. Favor ain't fair when you, when God's hand is on your life. Favor ain't fair. There's some things God is doing for you through favor. You didn't deserve that. You, you, you didn't, you couldn't have, you couldn't have studied hard enough. You couldn't have got a degree uh, 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 with enough letters or with enough, uh, 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 you know, I, I don't know what all you all degrees we got on the line, but you could not do it on your own. Mm -mm. Man. It was God. God was the one who chose you. Men are called. <laughs> you are chosen. You couldn't, you didn't have your, you didn't, your chosenness wasn't you. He chose you. I'm so glad this morning to be a child of God. Satan, oh, yeah. Satan and his tricks, and we almost done. And his tricks, see, I got one more up my sleeve. I see that I didn't, maybe, 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 maybe I didn't take you high enough. May, maybe you didn't see enough. Maybe you thought I was playing with you. The scripture says, then he took him up on a mountain. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all better understand, Satan don't be playing. Satan got a plan now. Satan Satan is he he is a worthy adversary. He, he, he is what the young people call an op. He's an op. He's an uh uh opportunist. He's uh oppositional. He 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 is your uh your op. You better understand how to handle him. He says, I he took him up on the mountaintop, an exceedingly high mountaintop. He took him up high enough to try to make him feel like, well, see, look what I can do. But see, y'all better understand some of these old songs. I I love some of these old hymns and some of these old saints, and they used to sing these things like, I, no matter how high I get, no matter how high I get, I'll still be looking up to you. The scripture says it like this. I look to the hills. I don't, I don't care where I'm at. I don't care what level I'm at. I'm looking up towards heaven for mm -hmm. all my help coming from the Lord. I don't care how high I get. You can put me anywhere. You can Amen. put me at the top of Mount Everest. I'm still looking up. Say, God, I don't care how high I am. Lord, you are still beyond the height of my contestation and my imagination. You are the great I am. There's nothing I, I can accomplish in this world to think I can get high as you. But I'm so glad you can sit high and still look low. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that no matter how high I get or how low I am, you can get to me wherever I am. He took him on an exceedingly high mountain. It says to him, here it is, Brother Carl, Brother Oliver, here are all the kingdoms of the world. Here, here is everything. I thought I could give it to you on the line. And, you know, Satan thinks, well, I'll try with a few crumbs. Oh, no, I, I'll give him a few more, few more dollars. You know what? Forget it. Let me go ahead and give it to them all. Let me, let me show it all to you. Let me show you all the kingdom. Let me show you Babylon. Let me show you Persia. Let me show you Rome. Let me show you everything. Now, if I, let me tell you, you, know, you, you thought I came to you as a friend. 
let me go ahead and tell you why I really came. See, sometimes, church, if you if you got a little God in you, got a little something in you, you might be able to get to this level where Satan really just go ahead and tell you what he really came to do. He wasn't pleased. Well, let me go ahead and let me go ahead now. See, I, I thought I could trip you up in the beginning. I thought I could trip you up, uh, you know, with a few trinkets. But I see you at least read the Bible. You you at least been the Bible study. You, you you've at least gotten through the new members classes. I, I can see that you at least know who he is. Mm -hmm. Let me show you all the kingdoms. Let me show you all the glory. Let me tell you, I don't care who your God is. Forget that. In this instance, he doesn't mention God. He said, now after showing you all of this, all these things, I, y'all don't hear me. You better, know, you better understand how Satan works. He don't say nothing about God. He says, I, I give thee. If I give all of this to you, will thou fall down and worship me? A church, if I wasn't a trained man, if I if I didn't at least have a, a little Sunday school diploma, if I if I didn't have just a, a little Bible study uh teaching, I would maybe fall for this. Foolishness, but when he says that, Jesus responds in such a way. I'm praying that all of you on the line understand how to do this. He says, Get thee behind me. Hold on, I want you to understand something. Know your role. Yeah. I've been in here praying, mm. I've been in here fasting, I've been going through. Uh, uh, the process, the pruning process. I've selected to do this. I didn't just come in here to play. I want you to understand that I am not here for you. You thought you could take me up higher. Help me, Holy Ghost. You thought that you were uh, 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 quarantining me away from God when you kept taking me up. But what you didn't realize is every round goes higher and higher. Every time that you brought me up a level, <clears throat> all you were doing was getting me closer to God, Reverend Reed. Every time we went up a level, what you were really doing is exposing me to God. Every time that you brought me up, what you didn't realize is that you were getting me closer to my God. I was praying the whole time. You thought I came here because you brought me here. But I was down on my knees asking God if there's anything you need me to do. Lord, use me in this season. And what you really were doing was put me in position. Position. Yes, sometimes it get hard. I feel alone in this world. As the songwriter says, I feel like a motherless child, but I know I have a father in heaven who's always got my hand and my best interest at heart. You kept bringing me up when I was looking down praying. But now, but now, but now that we on the mountaintop, let me tell you, let me be clear, I will worship nobody. There's nobody. There's nobody. But I'm going to worship more than my God. There's no God who can place before him. There's no God that can do what he does. There's no God that can bring me from the bellies of hell and introduce me to the gates of heaven. There's no God that can stand before him. You may be confused this morning. I may be down now. But one of these days, after he's done with me, after he's through me, after he's shaped me, after he's molded me, one of these days, 
Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. When he's done with me, when he's done shaping me, yes, I'm going through some hell. I'm facing some pain. I, I got some problems. When I'm done with it all, when I'm done with this, when I'm done with this world, when I'm done with the trouble that this world has for me, I'm not looking for no reward from you, Satan. I'm not looking for no attaboys and no pats on the back from you, Satan. I'm not looking for that. I'm not looking for this world's goods. If I gain the whole world but lose my soul, what good is that? One of these days, what I want to be able to do after I've done my very best. I know sometimes some of y'all on this line, you've been fighting for a long time. You've been doing everything you can. You say, God, they, they're pressing on me. On every side, they, they're pushing me down. It's sickness. It's on one hand. My family's on the other. My, my job's on the other. All these things. But you're staying faithful. He said, if you stay faithful over a few things, it ain't got to be much. You ain't got to be the president of the United States. If you can just stay faithful over a few things, just a few things, one of these days, one of these days, I'm going to bring you up. I'm going to make you rule over many. If you stay faithful, this morning, church, stay faithful. I know it's been hard. This Lenten season, some of you, you're struggling. You, you're going through it. You're trying to figure out, God, I'm trying. There's so much on my back. I want to give up. I want to give in. I want to throw in the towel. Jesus. Don't let your weak spot be your death spot. Don't let your weak spot be your, your stopping point. Because see, God, he, he's testing. He's testing us. I'm here to tell you this morning. He's testing us. To, it says to whom much is given. Much is required. Much is required. You think you were given a Jeez. little. See, your little, I'm going to end right here. That little, that little, <laughs> that little, that little talent you think you got. Mm. Mm -hmm. that's what you See, that, that little one talent you got, that's your key to heaven. Do you hear me? You 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 think, well, like, he got 10 and she got 50 and they got 100. Oh! All I got is this little talent. He tried to tell us for that lady who gave just two talents. He just gave what she gave, what she had. Y'all don't understand. She gave what she had. I know your heart. You think it's a little. I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at your heart. You have what you got. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Amen. This little light. I This little light. Oh, I'm going to let it shine. Y'all don't understand. He's not looking for much. He's looking for someone who's faithful mm -hmm. and who's really. Jesus showed us. He showed us there after being propositioned with everything. He not yet. He not gone to the school. He not become a Pharisee. He didn't have the degree for all intents and purposes. He was just an old carpenter boy. From Galilee, that's all he was. But Satan saw it. And I'm going to let y'all know, Satan knows who you are. He knows who you are. He knows what God is putting you before you did. He watches. He knows what's on the inside of you. And that's why he is greatest enemy. Because his job is to try to figure out how not to let what's on the inside come out. You see what Jesus did? He thought Jesus was empty. Y'all don't hear me. This, this is, this is where, this is where you shout right here, right, right, right along through here is where you shout. He didn't realize what was really on the inside of Jesus. He thought Jesus was running on fumes. He thought Jesus was empty. He had nothing. But see, when you know God's word, when I know the word, I'm full. When I know how to speak these things, y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't understand. Amen. When I'm down and I'm out and I don't have nothing to lean on, when I can speak his word, oh, he said, sometimes, help me, Lord, you got to encourage yourself. Amen. Sometimes you're going to have to be able to speak a word. You better, know, you better know who he is. Satan is coming. 
I don't care what hell you are in. You better know how to speak his word. And this is how, this is how, this is how. Give you the secret. The only sword he ever gave us in the full armor of God. I'm going to ask one, 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 one scholar on the line to just scream it out. Well, he gave us the breastplate of righteousness. He he gave us that helmet. He he gave us the breastplate. He gave us the belt buckle. But he gave us one sword. Does anybody know what the sword was? Anybody? It was what? See, y'all understand. It said the word. The word. The word. The word. The I can fight Satan. The only thing he gave me, he didn't give me no Glock. I don't have no weapons of mass destruction, but I got the word. I got the, I can move mountains. I mm -hmm. got the word. I can heal the sick. I can heal and raise the dead because I got the word. Yeah. It's the word. It's the word. It's the word. Mm -hmm. and this is how you fight Satan. Satan comes to prayer meeting. Don't be confused. Satan's going to come to your, he's going to come to your biggest moments. He comes to prayer. He comes to church. An old pastor used to say, he, Satan, he lazy. He don't come. He don't walk on his own. He only come because somebody brought him there. Mm. I'm going to let that marinate. The doors of the church open. If there's mm. one, if there's one, the doors of the church are open. If there's one, he's available to you this morning. He fought Satan. He suffered. He died for this moment for you. He did everything he did for this moment for you. I want you to understand the reason he was there fasting was for this moment for you. He was there praying for you. He was contemplating the distance from earth to heaven. He was calculating the nuances of Satan's hold and his grip on this world. He was negotiating in his mind and in his heart the journey that he was going to have to travel. He was there fasting. Y'all don't Y'all don't hear me. So you may not understand. You may not love him, but I love him. I love him because of what he did. He was there. Didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it. He, 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 he didn't have to give all he had. But there in that moment, he chose to fast. Not having sin, not, not needing to uh, reconciled himself. He didn't need that. He did it to you. I want you to understand this morning, he did this for you. He fasted. He turned down the plate. He turned those things away. For this moment, he wanted there to be a sacrifice with no blemish. He wanted there to be an opportunity for true reconciliation. He wanted to be the bridge over troubled waters. He gave it all for you in this moment. If you've not given your life to him, if you've not made a decision, I want you to be very clear. He gave it all for you. There was no height. There was no position. There was no wealth. There was no rich. There was no glory. There was nothing more important to him than you. Yeah. So this morning, with nobody, no gun to your head, no, no, no one pressuring. The door is open. The door is open for you to give your life. That man named Jesus, he he did it all for you. He's already done all the work. He's already laid down the groundwork. He's already done the necessary thing. 
to bridge heaven and earth. All you have to do is believe in him. And if that's you, if that is you this morning, see the screen. You can follow the prompts. If you can't see it, let me say it to you. If you felt his love, if you felt in your heart his love this morning, I want you to text us at 864-201-3920. Again, 864-201-3920. Or email us at Bethel Carlisle. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, Bethel A.M.E. Carlisle. A.M.E. Church. Uh, uh, Bethel A.M.E. Carlisle at Gmail. Pardon. Bethel A.M.E. Carlisle at gmail.com. You can email us or text us, or you can email the Zoom line. Simply the words found faith, found faith, and we'll know what you're talking about. We're trying to make this very simple because we understand that not everybody on this line is church. You may not know our traditions, may not, may not understand them, but all it says in the Bible is mustard seed faith. If you got that, if you have mustard seed faith, you can move mountains. Yeah. Move mountains. And see, I'm, I don't know about nobody else on the line. I'm just crazy enough to believe him. I'm just fool enough, uh, Brother Lewis, to believe him and take him at his word. He said, I can move mountains. Well, I'm going I'm to I'm walk. I'm going to walk right up in it. Because I realize that with him, I can be at the lowest of low. But if he be lifted up. Mm. Let me stop. I ain't going to try to preach again. I just want y'all to understand that it's real. If that is you, text the line. Email us. We want to introduce you to a, a lifestyle that's different. We want to introduce you to an assurance, a guarantee. There's no Geico nationwide. There's no all states. None of them can guarantee your life like he can. But you got to give it to him this morning if there's one.